Harvey, I was just gonna call you. I'll save you the trouble. We're bringing Lewis Lett back to the firm. It doesn't matter, because that call was to tell you I'm hiring him and you owe me. Bullshit. You're calling me a liar? I'm not calling you anything, but you are calling Sylvia out there a liar. Oh, no, no, Sylvia wouldn't tell you shit. Wrong. One compliment about her hair, and she told me you gave Lewis the bad news an hour ago. See you around, Robert. Harvey, uh, one more thing. You do still owe me that favor. What kind of math are you doing? The kind of math that says Jessica Pearson hiring Lewis Lit back adds up to shady. If that's all you got, you can collect your favor when the clock strikes kiss my ass because partners leave firms and come back all the time. Maybe, but they don't come back with their name on the wall. Uh, I'm guessing he wasn't supposed to tell me that, but he did. And Lewis Lit is not name partner material which means he must have something on you. So, unless you want me going around town, flapping my big mouth that something isn't right in your kitchen, you're gonna make good on that favor. Celia didn't slip up at all, did she? No, she didn't. You have your girl Friday, I have mine. But you can still tell her how nice her hair looks on the way out. I'll be in touch. We have a problem. Unless it's urgent, I don't have the time. Lewis is telling people. What people? For starters, Robert Zane. Why the hell is Lewis even talking to Robert Zane? I asked him to hire Lewis after we took back VersaLife. And you didn't think to tell me that after last night? I was handling it. From what I can tell, you handled it like shit. So this is my fault? Well, it sure as hell isn't mine. You know what, Jessica? I'm not the one who wanted to fire Lewis. And I'm not the one who wanted to deny him clients. I did that because of his performance as an attorney. You antagonized him for years for your own pleasure. Tell yourself whatever you want. You handed out your share of abuse. Tell yourself whatever you want. You're the one who hired a fraud and gave Lewis leverage. And I told you Lewis would get worse, and you said I had to take it. Well, I don't care whose fault it is. He is getting worse, and I'm not going to take it. Oh, yes, you are. You're going to take it, and you're going to do it with a smile on your face until I say otherwise. What the hell are you going to do? I'm going to clean up this mess once and for all. Like marinated meat. <laughs> oh, yum. Okay, wait, but which one do you make? Kansas City or Memphis style? Oh, hell, when it comes to ribs, I make them every which way I can. I am now officially starving. Harvey. Please, have a seat. Don't let my law firm get in the way of your coffee clutch. Oh, no, no, don't blame Donna here. I told her you and I had some unfinished business. Already? What? Did you pick something out of your generic favor file? I've never done anything generic in my life. This favor. It's tailor-made for you. It's very specific and very personal. We're in a little dispute with another firm. I need you to get them to back off of it. Why can't you do it yourself? Because I don't know the lawyer on the other side. You do. Good luck. What the hell is he talking it's about? It's Scotty. Oh, I know. Scotty doesn't do favors like this. And I don't have any leverage on her. Yeah, you do. You're just not going to like using it. Is seat taken? Hi. Hey. Since your message was so cryptic, I'm assuming this is about business? I need a favor. Hey, Scotty. How are you? How have you been since you left? I, I, I heard that you took some time off. Where did you land? I need you to settle your case against Robert Zane. And why would I do that? Because I own one. Harvey. I'm just getting back on my feet at a new firm. This case is winnable. The firm knows that it is because I told them it is. I said all I look like shit. I know that, but you came to me once to take it easy on you with Folsom Foods. Because you said if I was ever in trouble personally. I am in trouble personally. What the hell is personal about Robert Zane? You don't do this for me? Zane's gonna put it together about Mike Ross. Selfish son of a bitch. You said you told me that because you didn't want to keep lying to the people you love. I didn't want to. And now to. you come to me trading on the fact that I know how to get you out of a jam for doing something stupid and selfish that drove a wedge between us before we ever even had a chance. I told you the truth. After it was too late. Scotty. I loved you. I loved you. And you let some stupid secret that I would never tell anyone come between us because you couldn't trust me with it. 
You're right, Scotty. I don't have a leg to stand on. But if you don't do this for me, I am in trouble. I'm going to recommend we settle with Robert Zane. Thank you. But to be clear, you get to ask me this once. And I never want to hear the name Mike Ross again. Scotty. Once. 